Hey everybody, welcome back to All By The Popcorn. My name is Stephanie. Thank you all for clicking on this video. If you're someone who enjoys talking about film, how about clicking that subscribe button? So February has come to an end and it's that time to rank the 11 films that I saw this month. And as always, whatever I did review within the month, which I did do quite a few of them actually, uh, will be down in the description box down below. That way you can check out my overall thoughts because here will be a brief little overtake. And it's going to be brief, you guys. We're going to... We're gonna get through this very quick. I know I say that every time, I, but no, for real, because it's the Golden Globes today, and it is like five o'clock, so we gotta get through this. Uh, Cause I'm gonna be doing my live reaction, which that video is gonna be coming out before this video. So first off, it's going to be Netflix's All My Friends Are Dead. It did have a Netflix release in February, but I think it came out in Poland or maybe internationally last year because when I looked it up it did say 2020 it is a Polish film I really don't know how I feel about the movie it's very weird um it's a very bad luck type of film so there's like basically a massacre but like it was an accident I don't know you guys it's a weird movie I don't regret watching it I think I've heard quite a few like negative things about it it's a very like dark comedy so i'm gonna say uh okay or you tried oh uh, make up your mind because you don't got time um you tried we're gonna just say it's you tried could be okay but we're gonna put it under you tried barb and star glory vista del mar how to think about it because i keep calling her barb and mar but it's barb and star and y'all are about to like hate me especially for my people that love judith you have to have a certain sense of humor for barb and star because if you have zero the humor you're not gonna like this movie uh like my sister annette don't even watch this movie because she has no sense of humor but it's like a crazy story we got kristen wig we got um annie M Ugh, can't even see her last name <laughs> it's terrible we got mr gray in here and i just can't believe i'm seeing him in this kind of scenario it almost reminds me of like uh chris hensworth and Ghostbusters is like we have the hot guy <laughs> and like these comedy movies but I do definitely prefer Jamie over over Chris in these particular type of movies it kind of just really worked um I mean the story kind of had a little bit a lot going on because we do have this villain in the movie which we really could have gone without I enjoyed it but it's gonna go in the good tier because like I really liked it moving on to uh Netflix's I care a lot uh, Rosamund Pike is also nominated for her performance um, in this particular movie for the Globes. I don't think she's gonna win. And the Golden Globe goes to... Look at Rosamund. Rosamund Pike. <laughs> this is one of those movies that is gonna upset quite a few people. Especially I feel like if you have a very close relationship with your grandparents. Because um, we are dealing kind of with elderly abuse everybody in the system is involved um in this kind of scheme and this uh con that they're doing uh we have peter dinklish who does amazing in the in his performance here he's like the mobster this russian mobster i was totally here for it i really really dug this movie i care a lot i'm gonna go ahead and put under the good tier malcolm and marie another netflix um original movie this is a black and white film that has just only two actors in it we got john david washington we got zendaya we are just in a argument of this couple the highs the lows i mean the argument just keeps going i totally love malcolm and marie so i am also putting it under wow to all the boys always and forever this is the end of the trilogy um it is another netflix original movie it is based off of a book like i said in my review i wasn't like fully intrigued with this trilogy like i i enjoyed it i was like oh this is some cute stuff this is really coming of age lovey-dovey you know high school very innocent love so i'm gonna go ahead and put it like right in the middle and i think it's an okay movie actually you know what it was 
it was more than okay it was enjoyable yes it was an enjoyable movie i'm gonna give it that i think the way that it ended was really sweet and nice and i really dug it um i did have somebody comment and told me how it ended in the book because i haven't obviously read any of the books and i totally prefer the way that it ended in the book obviously right the book's always better i don't know why they didn't go that way up next would be no man land francis mcdermott uh chloe chow chow Mm, I know I'm, I suck with names and the movie itself they're all three nominated for an award uh, I believe Chloe is gonna win for director it's not a movie for everybody you guys because it is a movie that's pretty much just kind of here there's really no up and downs but it is beautiful 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 to look at so I'm gonna obviously Put it in well as well. Look at February with all these good movies. If you haven't checked it out, you can watch it on Hulu. Up next would be uh, Netflix's Space Sweepers. Honestly, when I watched that movie, I had no, no idea what the hell I was getting myself into. This is like a family movie. I'm not going to put it under the four kids tier. I ended up putting that there. So I'm still kind of debating on one particular movie, which you could see which one it is off the bat now. I think it was a very much enjoyable movie. It really was. We are living in outer space because like Earth has become kind of like Wally. -E. Think like, yes, oh my God, I've seen, I just, I just saw Wally -E, now I can compare it. Literally what happened with Wally, -E, like there's, but there are still people like living on Earth, but it's just so contaminated. Is that right? I feel like I may be confusing it with another movie, but yeah. Yes, because the, the villain is trying to keep everybody up in space and trying to destroy Earth. So the villain at the end wasn't like the greatest villain. Like I think we could have got something a little bit better. But it is a really, really fun movie. We're in space. Uh, we're picking up like space debris and we're like kind of like like space pirates in a way you can say um, there's like a little uh, girl who has like these magical powers and she's like badass also like she like there at the end like she does so and I'll say oh look at that like Judas and the Black Messiah. I do have a review on this. This is a uh, this is one of those movies that did have a theatrical and an HBO Max release. Um, I thought it was. I just thought it was enjoyable. Unfortunately, I don't have the love for Judas as most people do, and I hope you don't come at me for not having it up in the wow or even under the good tier i do have to say i don't think it's something i said in my review i wish we had a little bit more uh kaluuya in the movie which which he was actually my prediction to win uh, the golden globe tonight so we'll see what happens up next is the martinian i guess yeah, I have no idea how much I struggled when I was doing my dad prediction video with this damn title. Mm. This movie, um, we have, I was going to do a review on it, but at the end I decided not to. It is based on a true story. We are following um, Mohammed, who was suspected, suspected only, of basically organizing the 9-11 attack. He was never, ever charged with any kind of crime but he you know swore on his innocence for 14 years you guys 14 years they took this man's life it does star Jodie Foster we got Benedict Cumberbatch we have Shaylee Woodley let me get this because I don't know how to pronounce his name Tahara Rahim and Zachary Levi also come on the movie so Jodie Foster and Tahar Rahim, they're both nominated for their performance um, in you know the movie as well. I don't think they're going to win. Jodie Foster. <gasps> you guys, Tahara, he gives an amazing, amazing performance. Like I am totally here for it. And just what they put this man through, like it is despicable so if you're not somebody that likes to watch any kind of torture deals this movie is not going to be for you because we get a very detailed torture scene you know what we're, we're, we're not going to go into spoilers i should have just done a damn review on this movie i think it's a very very good movie so in the good tier goes next to start <laughs> 
Barbara Shark, whatever you guys. Tom and Jerry. I just uploaded my video on this today. Well, actually, you're not gonna see this video probably till like Monday or Tuesday, but I that's the last actual review I uploaded. It's bad, you guys. It's bad. Like, I don't even recommend this for your children. I mean, it's for kids. They're, they're the targeted audience. I get it. But no, I don't like it. It's bad. Yeah, I'm not gonna talk about it too much because I gave my grief. I'm very like model tone in that review because I'm so sad because I did the review after I saw it and I just, I'm so disappointed. We're gonna move on because we're gonna get on to Willie's Wonderland. Uh, this stars Nicolas Cage. Uh, a lot of people apparently compared to Five Nights at Freddy which is a damn video game that I had no idea about until my sister goes, that's like Five Nights at Freddy and I went, oh. So, I mean, not everybody knows about it. I don't, you know, I didn't know about it. This is something that's definitely going to be like a cult classic. It is considered a horror, but trust me, there's nothing scary about it at all. It, it, I feel like that horror aspect is more so because of all like the killings that are involved in it. But there's nothing scary because again, I don't do scary movies myself. Like, I don't like shit to pop up. I don't mean demonic stuff. Demons, I don't, don't be coming at me with no damn little girl, little boy, no. The, thing. the mere fact that Nicolas Cage does not even freaking talk in the movie, like, does it bother me? I don't know. Like, not really. I'm starting to feel like if he had talked, it may have taken something away from it. So at the end of the day, I just think it was an enjoyable movie. I know some of you are like, I cannot believe you have Judas. <laughs> Yes, that's where I have them at. Don't judge me. Don't come after me. You can just put in the comment section, Judas, wow. That's it. Don't come after me. I'm like, you're an idiot and this, this, and that. I like what I like. Don't judge me. You like what you like. Everybody's entitled to their own opinion, aren't we not? Yes, we are. All right, you guys, this is all that I saw in the month of February. Of course, before you guys click out of this video, don't forget to give it a like. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified each time that I post something new. I am trying to hit 500 subscribers before the summer, so hopefully you can help me get to that goal. So this is it for me today, you guys. Until next time, I'll see you guys at concessions. Bye.